Igbo economist. Ken Gishinga helping us put our week in perspective. But on matters youth empowerment and boosting youth participation in agriculture, the Standard Group and Agin have partnered to launch an economic model aimed at bringing in an initial 30,000 youth on micro businesses to participate in the economy dubbed My 300. My 300 leverages on social capital and technology to create a micro business that has the potential of the turnover of up to 300,000 shillings per month so yeah, how are we sitting okay Is, is built on a micro franchise model whereby the youth who signs in has a franchise so you have a business and the first people who have trusted us to place the product on that model is the farmers so the farmers have said can you be able to market our product so is it limited to only agricultural produce Primarily, we are focusing on agriculture, but just not farm produce, fresh farm produce. We are looking at triggering the cottage industry. Those who are making the young people involved in, you know, honey, honey, you know, beekeeping and making chutneys, sauces, you know, that need market. So we are hoping to trigger a whole value chain revolution and basically stimulate all the aspects of the value chain. Is a journey that starts here can contribute towards building sustainability in food production, can contribute towards engaging youth in meaningful uh, livelihoods, because I believe if you can get youth to see value in the agribusiness value chain, if they are able to earn a living out of it, then we could have started a movement in a direction that will help our country that will help these youth uh, get away from what I would call idle kind of uh, occupation. All right, well, so the first half of business today stops right here. Remember, it's Friday. Later on, the second half, we shall be having Trading Bell and a very interesting conversation with Rwanda's stock exchange CEO, Pierre Celestine, on what they are doing different and what we can learn from them. But